peak oil is going to drag down world gross domestic product. In other words, it's going to drag down economies worldwide, particularly economies like in the United States, where we are heavily dependent on imported oil. That imported oil is not going to be there uh, to the degree it has been in the past, and prices are going to scooch up to a very, very high level. And that's going to do a great deal of economic damage throughout our system. Uh, and and if, you, uh, if you dig in and take a hard look at how oil is used and how dependent we are on, on oil products, why you can begin to understand how pervasive uh, and important uh, oil is to, uh, to our, our, our living. It's, it's kind of like blood is important to our, our bodies. Get, take away too much blood uh, or take it away continually faster than we can produce it, and we're in a whole lot of trouble. And that's the, uh, the oil situation. The damage that is likely to occur, almost certain to occur, associated with oil shortages and super high prices going to be very, very significant, and we have to fix that problem. It would be nice to be able to address 16 or 20 other problems simultaneously, but fixing the and mitigating the oil shortage problem is just going to take a, a huge, huge effort, and we're not going to be able to, uh, uh, to worry about climate change as a high priority. That doesn't mean that we should be wasteful or pollute on purpose or anything else. We can, in fact, do both, but we can't really make headway on what people want to do on global warming and mitigate the problem, which is going to squeeze everybody. By the way, including a lot of environmentalists are going to be out of work because of what happens associated with oil.